Alright, so as I'm sure it's obvious, I'm a huge fan of programming in general, and over the past few weeks, days, I have been playing around with Go quite a lot, and even though TypeScript is the language I know the best and I use the most, I thought, well, let's be honest, TypeScript sucks at the back end. No one actually wants to use TypeScript, and yes, I had a brief thing with Rust, but coming from TypeScript, Go just is so much easier, makes more sense, so I've been playing with Go, and I'll be honest with you, even though I've only made wonderful project I'll show you in a minute, Go, it just feels so much smoother and better. Now obviously, this isn't going to be a video where I give you like in-depth, like, oh yeah, Go is better on TypeScript by like 0 0.69 for 20 seconds with speed and all of that nonsense. It's just going to be like a brief breakdown of why I think that's kind of similar syntax-wise, but I also think Go kind of works better than TypeScript. Alright, so over here we have beautiful and empty readme apparently. We have I do not want to use the binary. We have the whole go wiki over here. So it looks really empty and that's it. It's empty right now, actually, if I go back. But yeah, this is, it's very empty. Well, this main file, everything's kind of fit. And it's not really split up from the other than the utils file. Where I've got a little thing to search the wiki. But uh, if that, ignore that for now. The whole thing is let's just run this. Go run dot localhost. We can obviously go over here. We can look for a wiki, we can look up tests, so we can go to test. Beautiful, it's all edited and marked down, so we can do a little um, um, uh, to test and make that go to uh, github.com. Save, R refresh that, not save. Hello? GitHub, save. Alright, it's broken. Well, <laughs> when it was working, this is great. Uh, normally it is working, but see, I could have done this in TypeScript easily, of course. But doing this in Go, it just felt better. And also, it just feels better, like smoother. And also, another great thing is if I switch back over here, Go, uh, if I remember to do this. Yeah, Go could be compiled into a binary. Like, one of the great things about Go is that I, I can compile it into a binary, which also means you could build, like, terminal tools for this. As an example, you have, we, you might have loads and loads of scripts to do things, and writing that in Bash is okay, but sometimes you might want to have a really good idea for, like, a terminal-based script thing, and you're thinking, <sighs> really? Really, am I going to have to write this in Bash? No one wants to write it in Bash. Or you're going to have to write it in like Python or TypeScript, but then it's going to not obviously be like a binary when you run it, which will slow it down and a bunch of other crap like that. But doing this will just allow you to not have to worry about that crap and just be able to use it. And it will be built into a binary, basically. As an example, let's say the Go Wiki project was some sort of CLI based thing where I might be like, you know, I'm going to run the wiki, search equals Yoni, when I would search, obviously it's not going to do anything. When it would basically find it everywhere in a wiki I have on my computer that says the word Yoni. Well, obviously it doesn't actually do that, but let's say it did. I could just have that built into a binary, even I could just, for example, let's take a copy of it. Just put it in my local bin. And I can go anywhere, and I can, of course, run it. And obviously it's not going to work. So it's like, oh, uh, you're missing that file. But it would normally work. Right, over here I have a little project that should take any like directory I give it. And basically pass it into a thing called Repler using web scraping and all that stuff. Right now it is nowhere near done. It literally just gets the path, the, the files, and uh, it just runs it. It really doesn't do much right now. And it, it can't even properly loop up directly. So it doesn't do much right now. Anyways, the whole idea of this, well, is to what I just explained. But anyways, this was written in TypeScript like, when I originally wrote like these very few lines of code. Um, well, I feel like this is a cool idea, and yes, yes, I know Repler, you, you can integrate it into GitHub and make it do all this for you automatically, but what if I don't want it on GitHub? Do you really think I want this on my GitHub? Even if it's private, I don't care if this is public, but even if this was, do you really think I want this, 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 this disgusting code, like, oh, oh, this code, do you really think I want this on my GitHub? No, I do not. Well, that's my gear up. So the whole idea of this is that it just it does it all for me. Anyways, well, back to my before I started my tangent. 
I want to, let's say I want to do this type switch, which I am over here. You know, when I run it, I'm going to have to go like clear it all up. And I can say it's um, movie app slash app dot pi. And of course, that doesn't work because of um, why would it work? You do do a little of that when you do that. And I don't remember the path to anything. So let's go over here. All right. It doesn't work. All right. Okay. Well, it doesn't work, but I'm sure you can have yeah, this. I've literally explained it way too times. Now, what it's supposed to do, but the of running this in TypeScript is that it's not as fast as it could be. Second of all, I mean, yes, TypeScript is so better than JavaScript, but this is the reason I have lost all faith in JavaScript. X. X equals equals void equals zero. True. X equals null. False. X equals null. True. Null equals undefined. False. Null equals undefined. True. Why? Why? Why does it function this way? You know, Go doesn't do this. Nobody does any other programming language. Also, why do I have to have like the 69, 420 equals just to like do one thing? So stupid, okay? Please, please, just write your code in Go. Don't code the back ends in TypeScript. Now, of course, when I'm coding the front end, you're obviously gonna, you know, use the Lord's, you know, language TypeScript here because of. I can't use Go to code the front end. And that makes me sad inside. Also, tangent here. Why would you use JavaScript when TypeScript exists? Look, TypeScript has all of JavaScript's shit features still, but it improves most of them. Why? Why would you use JavaScript when you can use TypeScript? Just TypeScript improves on so many of the little, little fucked up things of JavaScript. Please use TypeScript. That's a little PSA. All right, so over here I have a little program. One in Go, one in TypeScript. They both do effectively the exact same thing. We have a string called x which has hello world and we loop over it until i is less than the value of the length of x each time we just print out i it's pretty simple what i'll just ignore that it's pretty simple this i mean also you can see the syntax it's different but it's not too far different i mean coming from typescript you could quite easily understand this go code i feel anyways let's run it so if you run it you see it runs at 0.03 seconds. That's fast. Yeah. So now let's run time ts node index.ts. Do, do, do you see? Nice. But I just have so much longer. And also, look how much more the CPU was being used 141%. Well, obviously, it's not. But you know what I mean? It, it's clearly taking more system resources. And let's see, if we were to build Go, I we were to build the goco let's see if that be faster so time that was instant as it's built remember that's another benefit of using someone like c kind of i guess so if the code's already been built before it's running instantly right i've just done basically the exact same code in c over here wait with these others yes they well capitalized i've got the exact same code over here in c and of course if we run it I see such a high level language you obviously need to add the stash and that yourself anyways as we see and obviously if you look compared to go using less of the cpu but it's basically just as fast but look obviously you, you can't beat the lord's language see the best language there is it's the best around but also um c's also a bit of a pain to write managing your own memory and crap i don't want to manage my own memory i guess a c code probably isn't even best practice okay but i don't care Okay, let's just all write Go, as everyone can agree here, Go is a superior language. I'm 100% aware, this is a very rambly video. I don't have barely any notes going into this, I just thought, why don't I just speak about this top of my head. But, there's kind of my thoughts on Kypsit versus Go, and I'm even throwing a little bit of C at the end. To show you why C is the Lord's language, but also no one wants to write C. But anyway, the real Lord's language is Rust, if you don't know. Because it's the funnest language to write. Anyways, that's going to be my very long, rambly explanation of Go vs. TypeScript and all of that fun stuff. But that's going to be that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And by the way, yes, everything I've talked about, well, code, will be in the description down below. Yes. Goodbye, fellow people.